Valentina Shevchenko versus Lauren Murphy. <laughs> um, I could take this away for you real quick. Yeah, this- take this one as far as way as possible from me. Um, just the- Lauren Murphy. I'll start off with her. Um, she has looked pretty great. Um, with her last loss being um in 2018 to Sajari Eubanks, she's beaten Mara Barella, Andrea Lee, Roxanne Mataferi, Lilia Shakarova. I don't even know how you say that. Say that 10 times fast. Joe Calderwood in a split decision fight to get this, to get this fight. Right. But let's be real here. Laura Murphy's 38 years old and nowhere near on Valentina Shevchenko's level. She gets... Valentina does what she wants. She either keeps it standing, maybe kicks her in the head and punches her in the face for five rounds, or she takes her down and gets her in the crucifix and just throws elbows down until the ref stops it, or she just, you know, coasts for a decision. Whatever she wants to do, she does. So Valentina wins this fight. Easy. Easy peasy. It's Valentina Shevchenko's world, and we're just all living in it, Dan. Um, this fight is fucked up. But uh, Lauren Murphy has fought tooth and nail for years to make it into the top five, to go on a, I believe she's on a five fight winning streak. She is. And she's very well-rounded, finished nine out of her 15 fights by KOTKO, a BJJ Brown belt, great fighter. Um, she doesn't stand a chance, Dan. Uh, this this is Valent this is Valentina Shevchenko's fight. That's the problem with it. This whole division is just people talk about Amanda Nunez, but at one thirty five, like it. Oh, to split decision. Twice. Yeah, yeah. People, they don't know. <laughs> Valentina she, is just as good. She is just as good. And the problem is, like, maybe she's just not as big as a man Nunez. Maybe that's the only differentiating factor bef- between the two of them. But, you know, Valentina Shevchenko only losing to the GOAT female fighter in Amanda Nunez in her entire career, um, in her entire UFC career, excuse me. But she, she hasn't well, shown really any weaknesses besides – that the fights with Amanda Nunez. That's that's it. There are no holes in her game. Very oh, and her other loss is to Liz Carmouche back in 2010. Yeah, and how many fights did she have? What was her record going into that? Um, I could say on typology. She, seven and one, she had seven fights before that. She had yeah. boxing fights and shit before that. Though, but MMA, so, yeah, that, she's like early. That's so green. So, boxing boxing yeah Yeah. um this one is open and shut though dan valentina shevchenko like not even close yeah and everyone is agreeing with us we're looking at a minus 1400 in this fight and a minus a minus 1450 actually rightfully so a lauren murphy is a plus a thousand this is what you do you take a couple bucks, you put it on Lauren Murphy, you hope that Valentina Shevchenko slips and falls and breaks her leg, and then you walk away with a nice chunk of change. But I pay the pay per view. Yeah, with those odds, you can't do any. You can't do anything with that. Um, whatever you know. What are you gonna do? You're gonna watch and enjoy it. Watch Valentina Shevchenko have a nice sparring match. You know what I mean? Yeah. She All right. Just, she wins however she wants. She does. I agree with you there. We're both going with the champ, Valentina Shevchenko.